All right, welcome back to the winners' finals. First killer and Kinsa, the first we've seen of them. Going to be going against Infinite Shots. We just watched them play JT and JJ. Well, we got to play it. We got to yeah, play it now. Play. All right, well, it should be better, hopefully, on the USC server. But. Are that's, we on West or East right now? We are on US East. The orange team, unfortunately, gets preference as the higher seed. Yep. So, uh, next server will be on US East. Now off the net. J Turbo lifts it up over one. The ping disadvantage not showing its ugly head yet. But he steals away the mid boost. JJ lifting it straight upward. J Turbo dropping it down. Kinsa. Am I saying it right? Is it Kinsa? I have pronounced it Kinse. Kinse, uh, okay. Kinse. He's got a touch. Uh, Maybe two. I, Finding first killer off the rim. Oh, that was close. I, yeah, I haven't been yelled at for my pronunciation of his name yet, so I've stuck with it. Uh, so far, the only one I've been... I've, I only get corrected so far on the uh, European names. <laughs> first killer looking great off the wall, but JJ's going to block him off. As Kinse takes a shot, gonna be too low. JT flying right in underneath him. Now the pass, JT off of the wall, doesn't have a touch yet. First killer pushing it forward. Now off the ceiling for him, no block. Kinse, shot from him. JJ is backwards, gets a couple of touches at J Turbo back in time, no. A classic J Turbo move is to be f a little bit too far forward expecting the clear from JJ, but that is a tough angle. Having the guard the near post is uh, is never really where you want to be. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. And he made a valiant effort, just unfortunately the follow-up touch was there. Mm -hmm. Free First. ball in the middle there. Oof. Couldn't say with a heater, but JT just sits there. He's like, nah, that's hitting rim. I'm not even going to jump for it. Shot off the rim. First killer is preparing for a pass. I like that move from Turbo to just lob it up so that JJ can get a piece of it. Ooh, this is looking dangerous for J-Turbo. He pops it straight upward. First killer with a shot, gonna go a little bit too far forward. And JJ is able to clear that one to safety. He gets a lot of touches. I think his intention was just a simple bounce shot, but he couldn't get his car out of the way in time. First killer into the corner. Pinches it off of the rim. J-Turbo gonna be on the dribble next. He needs to watch out for the bump. I knew it was coming. First killer into the corner. JJ reads it perfectly, even sends it forward somehow. That's the opposite direction he was traveling. Kinset with the pass to first killer. First killer right into the corner off of the rim. Not going to be enough. JJ up next on the shot. Nice and low to the front of the net. Double blocked away by the defense. But Those styles of shots are, I mean, they're, they're quick and they're aggressive, but... That speed of play it isn't going to be enough to get things done when both of them are sitting back on defense. And I would I would say the same if first killer or Kinsey was taking that shot as well. It's one of those ones where you're going to have to have those off-angle styles of shots. That you have to respect the fact that if you just try and bang one from midfield, <laughs> and it's not going to work. But if you come off the ceiling, it's going to. I love this give-and-go setup. Kinsey back to first killer. After first killer passed it to Kinsa the first place, first killer comes off the ceiling and smacks it straight down. I'd have no, I bet the defense had no idea he was there, right? He's just so sneaky yeah, behind them. Okay, tell, tell me this. Let's say they do know he's there. What are you gonna do? What do you do? I don't know. You got to go off the back wall sooner. They're trying to get these these really valuable clears, but if you know that first killer is gonna try to drop the ball straight down, try to get in front of him. But you gotta you gotta have that that Dolby Digital surround sound, I guess, or something, so you can hear him. But how do you even know? Does the surround sound even cover if a player is above you? So I, I hear people complain about this a lot in, in games, especially in shooters, about there being no vertical audio. And the only way to create whether something is above or below you really is by creating oh. different... Ooh, first killer with another killer shot. Um, the only way to really create that is you have to create like something like, okay, if they're on the floor above it muffles it like this and if it's below you it'll muffle the sound differently for the footsteps like i have no idea how you would try to create like vertical audio in rocket league i don't think that it's supported mm. well that makes it so you can be even sneakier first killer though 
Those last two goals from him are just delicious. He tries to get a flip reset as the ball is just sitting on top of his car awkwardly, and JJ is going to take it away. He is faking it all the way over to the net. He rolls it up. First killer with the clear. Picking up the slack. Kinsa lifts it up. First killer has got the lift up himself. Now to the backboard. A clear for JJ. A double touch from him. He's continuing this control. It's up to Kinsa to clear that one over to the sidewall. JJ lifts it. He's chasing it again. We've got this back and forth air dribble now. <laughs> and he just dunks Whoa. straight on top of first killer. And Kinsa knew, but it's not enough as the save from him leaves it in a perfect spot for J Turbo to smack it down. Yeah, you can see right there where Kinsa was like, oh, oh no, I have, I have to do something here. And he's not coming at it at an angle that he really wants to approach the ball from. Ends up just kind of sidewalling it. At that point, first killer's already been Goomba stomped. He's out of the play, and that's an open net for J Turbo. They're going to need more goals like that with 30 seconds to go. Both First Killer and Kinsa up for this, though. Jay Turbo going to leave it over to JJ. JJ sends it down, but First Killer by now is back in time. He puts a death grip on that ball. Doesn't let it go. Jay Turbo he does have something here. Pinches it off the ceiling, but that shot... Wait a second! Oh! It was a pass all along. JJ underneath gets a slip past Kinsa in a crazy way. That was a crazy pass. Yeah, just barely beats Kinsa out there. Ooh, the speed from JJ keeping the dream alive here. 11 seconds left on the clock. They almost win that one. Not able to turn it into anything though. And first killer is going to bring that one out. Last ditch opportunity here for JJ. Yeah, that was it. Wait, it's still up. Oh. J Turbo keeping it up. First killer, his goal is to get it to the ground as soon as he can, but JJ is keeping it lifted. A pass to JT, but oh. no, he drops it. Whew, that was a close so one. So close. So close. And I guess we're swapping here now? Yes, we will be swat, uh, switching servers. Uh, but game one going yep. to Croissant. It's interesting. It's interesting to see the different community tournaments and the ways that they go about it. Some of them they go, you know, we don't want to do a full bracket reset, so we're just going to give you a one game advantage. And, uh. <laughs> First killer. I was holding my breath expecting a flip reset, and he just teased me the whole time. <laughs> I know he had it. He, he was too busy typing. Yeah. Just putting that extra bit of salt there, saying, oh, yeah, we, we need to find a new server. 70 is too much. JJ. What are they doing? I don't know. They're playing really, really slow right now. First killer and Kinsa are just guarding the net, waiting for their chance. But JJ and JT are not really overextending. That ball is just going to bounce in. Oh. J Turbo, best he can hope to do is lift it up and out. Kinsa sees first killer on the side, lifts it straight up, but that's way too far away from first killer. JJ going to be happy to take that ball off of Kinsa's hands. It doesn't get the touch that he wanted at all. Ends up getting kind of that soft touch. Kinsa just waiting for the boost to come up back there. Ends up finding it. JT wins the touch, <laughs> though. Going to be able to force it through. First killer can't react. And that's 1-0 going the side of infinite shots. How many times are we going to see JT just dribble past the opposing team into the goal? Like, it, when he's making these solo plays, that's always what I'm afraid is that with either by spaghetti or just by cleverness, he's going to have a free goal. Without, without any need for, like, a JJ to, to interfere. It's just all in the back of JT. He's got to lift it up. JJ, he t gladly takes the pass. The croissant defense dismantled yet again. That's a perfect uh, read. The defense wasn't present. I don't know if we can say that it was dismantled there. Uh, it didn't exist. <laughs> right. they, were, they were nowhere to be found. I have no idea where first killer was coming from. Kinsey was already downfield. He was pretty forward and up on the sidewall, really just leaving that whole middle lane open. JJ going to get up for this Ooh, one. Nice first save. killer somehow finds the save there. It's looking great for first killer. Drops it down, yeah. and JT finishes it for him. Brutal. Yeah. Uh, Croissant starting to come back, but that was such a wonderful pass. But first killer really with the quality read still somehow has a touch. I feel like if I attempted that same touch, it hit the front of my car or the side of it so that it wouldn't drop straight down. First killer unbelievably finds a way to he smack it down with his wheel. He passed it off of the off of uh, 
off of JJ or JT, whichever one was there, he actually hit it into them, and that's what brought the ball down. His shot, if that defender wasn't there, was actually off. It would have been out of net. Kinsep, boom, clear. Looking maybe for the follow-up, but no. JJ on the back wall is going to be real strong. JT looking for maybe the demo. His first killer sends it back to the opposite corner. JJ underneath. J Turo expecting a pass from JJ. Kinset shot goes wide, but first killer's here. Ooh. Almost has the slam dunk. Alley oop pass. First killer goes upward. He's looking for the pass to Kinset. A light, fluffy pass, but it's not high enough. His first killer struggles to keep the ball in blue corner. Here comes JJ for the acceptance of the pass. Not going to happen. Neither player touches it. First killer forcing the 50. Kinset left alone to defend the net. Pops up. JJ may be cheating a little far forward. If he was center instead, that would have been an exceptional pass. Now off of the corner transition. Sent to the opposite corner. First killer with the shot. Cleared away easily by JJ, and it's a shot attempt for him as well. Kinset down to JJ in the corner. When the ball is in the corner. It always seems like the pace of the play is going to slow down as the offense, they're calculating, how do I take a shot from here? It's never easy. First killer almost redirects it straight into the net. An exceptional pass from Kinset, but you got to find a way around the defense. And the ball from JJ bounces off the backboard onto the rim and straight down. Yeah, unfortunate here for Kinsey. It's really in a spot where he's coming for the approach and he's having to delay his takeoff due to the the rim. Due to where the rim is, mm -hmm. he, he can't really just take off, so he has to delay it. And by the time he's delayed, not enough time to get to the ball as it drops in. Turbo finding JJ. JJ lifts it up. First killer with the shot. JJ's going to clear it away. He's chasing it for one more touch. Gets it around one, two with that next touch. Setting up JT. Bouncing off the rim straight upward. Where is the shot coming from? First killer is holding his breath for it. Eventually decides to go. Now high up on the back wall. Turbo off the ceiling. Actually dunks his own teammate, but JJ still going to continue to play it. Block from Kinset. JT dropping it straight down. First killer barely gets that touch of save, and he's needed again. A pass, hold up, JJ. Oh, almost has it. They're continuing this pressure. Required to get that out of there, and then that last touch from Jay Turbo was disgusting as well. I thought that one was gonna go in, but he couldn't get it down. They they are absolutely living up to their name, the infinite shots. The best defense is a good offense. If you can keep your opponent pinned on their half, they're never gonna have a chance to score. But here is that chance to score if Kinsa can redirect it. He lobs it up where here comes first killer. The shot goes wide. Kinsa has to deal with the rim in order to make the shot happen. Once again, a lob shot, but a backboard defender is going to clear that all the way back. Now J Turbo lifting it up for JJ. JJ needs the dunk. Kinsa going to keep that one clear. Really good moves from nice him. First killer, <laughs> he's hunting. Yeah, nice attempt there from JJ on that play. Unfortunately, though, from the direction he's coming, he doesn't have the momentum forward to win that 50 battle, and Kinsey was able to get that one out. He couldn't quite get his nose on it. Would have been a nasty shot if he had it. Jay Turbo going to try and throw that one out wide. I think he was trying to go to a self-pass off the off the net, possibly, or off the rim to himself. Drops it to JJ. What a shot. It right it's over. On just too much power, and it's going to sneak back out over the top of the rim. Looks like this server advantage might be playing, if not if not an actual role, it could be playing a mental role. Because JT and JJ look so strong right now, and they've tapped it down. That's going to push us into a game three. We go for another server swap. Hopefully we find a good server, because I'd hate to, to see that server advantage really play a, a major role one way or the other. But infinite shots looked so good in that last game. First killer and Kinsa. It felt like they had a minute where the ball wasn't outside their half. It just was a struggle defensively for them non-stop all right we bring it back uh where are my controls hold on all right i'm good regular kickoff to start it off uh just quickly checking the ping i think this is about the best they can hope for 80 ping it's a little bit better than 90 first killer's got a touch than the last one. yeah it's certainly better than the first one yeah Ooh, JJ gets killed with that touch. It's going to bounce upward. Kinza doesn't read it until it's too late. Here comes the shot from JT. Going to be lobbed up way too high. First killer from the ceiling going to push that one onward with another touch. JJ, he saw it coming. He waited patiently for his turn. Kinza has lifted it up. JT dropping it down. He wants another one. He's lifted it up to the rim. 
Kinset. Gonna Late be over to JJ. From JJ. Mm -hmm. They had that opportunity, and I'm wondering if that's just the, that slight ping delay, and he's not as trusting of his takeoff. That there. shot. Should have had that one. That one there, though, he's gonna have. You're a little bit quicker to your own self passes. You have a little bit more control over where it's going. Mm -hmm. that's the, JJ couldn't have asked for better 50s. First, the 50 between J Turbo and then JJ's own 50 off of the rim. Just set him up perfectly. After it bounces off the ground, he knows exactly where he needs to be to make it uncounterable for the defense to get back in time. Only a minute has passed, but we've got a lot of action in this first game or this last game. As it goes over to the side, Kinsey. Finding first killer. First killer lifts it up. He wants the ball back for himself. JJ going to swat it away. It's actually a great read from first killer, too. Like, being able to get that touch and get that much lift out of the ball when it's up against the net like that. The net kind of screws with your eye a little bit as you're coming from the inside. And he ended up getting a really good read to maintain possession of that ball. I know nothing came of it, but it's still one of those things you just got to appreciate when you see somebody pull it off. First killer's oh. got the shot on. I don't think anyone expected that. It looked like that was going to be a simple touch for JJ. First killer is just so quick to these. Oh, JJ missed it. I see. I thought JJ was going to be first, and indeed he was, but he leaned his car maybe too far back, and first killer instantly took advantage of it. Let me fix the overlay for you guys. Sorry about that. There we go. That was a fusion kickoff attempt, but uh, sometimes I, I hit like create for the overlay and it just vanishes <laughs> oh to the sidewall first killer's got the shot on actually it's too high JJ actually gets it touched around Kinsey I don't think anyone expected that touch but JJ is zipping around the ball unfortunately first killer's gonna drop it straight down JJ keeping it clear for now the 50 for him also good as he kicks it out and buying just enough time for JT to get ready for the next one, but first killer delays his touch for so long, faking it until it's too late for J Turbo to make a move next. Faking somebody off of the off the court and allowing first killer an opportunity to carry the ball and put him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's one of the best in the world in those scenarios. He is a scary, scary man to go up against in that in that moment, and you see it there why he is as good as he is. Kinsey, huge long range shot. I don't think JT can get back in time. Suddenly, Croissant is winning 3 to 1. The backboard clears. Sometimes they turn into shots. He had the perfect angle on that. I'm surprised he didn't get smacked away by JJ because JJ is looking for that bump. But that is wild. A long range shot from downtown all the way from the backboard. Three minutes to go, but looking already really strong for Croissant. Into the transition. Oh. First killer is taken out of play by his own teammate. JJ, the sidewall. Kinsey, not sure what his plan is next. Going to get the 50. Now first killer from the sidewall. Can he find the pass? It's off the ceiling. JJ with the retreating save. We, we're seeing that a lot from infinite shots. I think that's not where they're comfortable with. But whoa, that shot from first killer. Going to be followed up from Kinsey, dunking it straight down. 4-1 lead for them next. Yeah, they're getting up so quick right now. They're going for these passes over to the sidewall, pre-setting those up, and that's kind of what I talked about earlier. I think I probably in game one where I was saying taking those powerful shots at net isn't really going to win it here. You need some of these quick pass plays where it's got to come from an angle that's harder to predict than the shot from the midfield, and that's something that can say and first killer for a large majority of their goals. There's been a couple booms down, but this is what they're doing for the majority of them. Kinsey up to first killer. First killer coming off the ceiling, the sidewall, wherever he needs to come from, knowing that Kinsey's going to put the ball on the money to him. First killer gets a block on the JJ. He's got a shot set up for him. But J Turbo from the backboard is going to have it cleared. Kinsey maybe looks for the pass. First killer is too far back for that. Now JT with the lift up. Defender on the backboard once again has the clear. JG, JJ though. Oh, <laughs> He almost had that, lifted it right over the rim. Now to the backboard, back out to the center. Kinsey looking once again for the pass to first killer. If he can drop it straight down here, that's going to be a goal for sure. Their fifth goal this game. They are running away with it. Infinite Kinsey's, shots is no response. Kinsey's accuracy to put the ball where it needs to go is 
is just as nuts as the shot from first killer. He puts it on the money over and over again. That defense stand right before they got that pass play as well, where he came above the rim on a low shot and twisted his car. The amount of car control it took to get that ball to then lift up from the angle he was coming at and not accidentally own goal it himself. Mm -hmm. it, disgusting play all the way through by Kinsey. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. If Kinsey didn't lob the shot up that high to where first killer was exactly at, then the defense gets it instead, right? And if the defense gets it and your teammate is on the backboard, that should be a goal going the other way. So really, really good accuracy like you mentioned. You want to always keep it as close as you can to your teammate, but also in a way that your teammate can utilize it. Yeah, and, and this team works really well in this situation, right? Kenze is dead on accurate with putting the ball in the space first that goes it off needs the ceiling. to be in. Ooh, nice swat what a away. Save. But first killer is that guy also. <laughs> if you're passing to somebody, he's the guy you want to pass to because you know that if you put it in the right area, he's going to convert it. However, JJ, JT, they're going to convert one here. Yeah. Kind of a last-ditch effort. Final 40 seconds on the clock. We're going to have a fusion op or a – was it a fusion or a – Yep, they got it. Didn't... That is a fusion. I, I don't – We. I guess we just call the, I was the in a bad standard camera, one a so friendship. It was, it was like the, the camera was circling, so I couldn't see <laughs> what was happening. It was in director cam. But, man, that last play from JT and JJ was really, really smooth. It's kind of like – it's sad to say that it's like an afterthought because – these players can be competitive against... Jeez, first killer. Can be competitive against Team Croissant, but Croissant on the return. First killer, carry that all the way across. Are you kidding me? That second touch was so precise, he knew he still had it, even when he had zero boost. Another one here. Another <laughs> friendship. Gonna go the way of infinite shots. Saved away, though. Again, yeah, it, it, it was a great goal, and it's smooth, and, and you kind of get into that moment where you know that it's kind of over, and it's it's hard to get hyped because it's, you know, basically a, like a trash time goal, but it's still this how smooth and how accurate they are, how quick they are to the ball is something that's really a testament to their level of skill. Uh, fortunately, this one's not going to go their way. They are going to end up dropping down into lowers, there is an opportunity, though, that we see this get run back if they do make their way through the lower bracket. The heck happened to my lower bracket? <laughs> so that I team know. I was talking about, the contempt face, colon slash. Okay. They they tore it up underneath. They beat O'Billy. They beat Team Zoo first. So that was Porklet and Tool. They beat okay. Nico and Wolf. They beat Get Clipped On, which is Enfor Enforcer and Scary, and they're waiting in the losers' finals. What the heck? <laughs> These are all teams I would expect to see in the losers' finals, but instead we've got Cole and Slash. I am excited to see what they can pull off against infinite shots coming up.